Hello everyone, uh, this is Keith Hill, founder of Uptown Jazz Dallas International Jazz Festival. Man, we had to do a Founders audio cast. It's been a while since the last one, and you know, there's a lot of a lot of things we want to share about what's getting ready to happen and some things that, you know, have been happening. So, you know, first off, I want to thank everybody for all this love and support that I'm getting through emails and messages and all kind of stuff. I mean, you know, we have a social media platform now that's totaling around 14,400 people um, from mainly the North Texas area, but abroad as well. And, um, you know, people were saying, hey, Dallas needs a festival, you know, let us know what we can do and so on and so forth. So, you know, I want to thank everybody that's within earshot of this thing that's supporting us in getting Uptown Jazz, Dallas International Jazz Festival uh, up and running. And by the way, that is probably looking like it's going to be May 2012. Now, I kind of want one reason why I wanted to do this audio cast is so we could explain a little bit how how the organization is set up um uptown jazz dallas as an organization um that's one thing but we also have this social media platform in place so there's a lot of components to building up this festival one is the social network uptown jazz dallas.com which is now available to everybody so 14,000 plus people need to now start to populate the social network directly because you know Facebook MySpace Twitter YouTube those are what we refer to as extensions of the actual thing you know so going forward uh, we will be sharing on a limited basis some of the content that we're producing in areas of photography from the from the functions videos and so on a lot of this stuff can't be done on Facebook can't be done on YouTube can't be done on Twitter and we're able to do it on UptownJazzDallas.com. So if you go right now, you can go and experience what I call artists of interest to the festival in our set list. The set list is a player that starts playing once you land on UptownJazzDallas.com. Not only that, but you can network with a lot of the organizations that are participating in, in, the, in the community part of this whole thing. And um, we'll talk about that more here in a minute. So when I say festival, you know, during this phase, during this period of time, I'm referring to the organization, the actual Uptown Jazz, Dallas International Jazz Festival. Those dates will be announced formally through press releases and so forth, and even on the through the social media network as you come in contact with us. Uh, we're looking at May 2012, and it looks like we're going to be able to hold on to that. So what we're doing now is everybody's witnessing Jazz Up DFW, which is our year-round promotion arm, starting to make our presence felt in the community. And we start that by doing a couple of things. Uh, here in April, April is Jazz Appreciation Month. It's in its 10th year, a little known fact around here. Uh, it was started by the Smithsonian Jazz Institute and, um, and now in its 10th year. So the festival, along with other organizations that support jazz, we're picking up the banner. And uh, April the 1st through the 10th, or well, actually April the 1st through the 11th, um, we're introducing the first annual Dallas Jazz Week. And that is the finest jazz venues in the city coming together, showcasing what they're already doing. These organizations that are already doing jazz, okay? From Salmon Center for the Arts, led by Miss Joanna St. Angelo, who's the executive director over there. Dallas Jazz Week was her idea. And she came to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> Let's do this, right? I mean, we got restaurant weeks and all kinds of things going on around here. Dallas Jazz Week, the festival needs to be in that, okay? So, you know, going forward, we're gonna make this like a restaurant week where everybody can look forward to this. And, you know, just some of the organizations that are committed to being a part of this first one, uh, Buttons Food and Music and their Addison location, um, University of Texas at Dallas, Salmon Center for the Arts with their Salmon's Jazz, Dallas Museum of Art with their, with their Thursday Night Live Jazz in the Atrium, uh, Pussycat Lounge in Lower Greenville on Monday nights, uh, the Amsterdam Bar, also on Monday nights, you didn't know we had jazz, serious jazz on Monday nights, did you? Um, what else? Dallas Jazz Piano Society, 
just came on board with us and I know I may be forgetting somebody if I am you can find out about all of them by going to uptownjazzdallas.com going to the Dallas Jazz Week tab click on it hover over it all the venues and the schedules will pop out and you can pick which day you want to go and where you want to go and get the information with regard to April the 1st and 2nd in particular we are introducing what we refer to as the festivals festivals official venue concept jazz up dallas at gillies venue concept what do i mean by that well you know originally we were not going to introduce jazz up dallas as a venue until after we launched the jazz festival but i guess god had something else in mind because one of my friends uh you know john gilbert over at gillies complex who these guys have already a successful venue with the Palladium, Southside Music Hall, The Loft, Jack Daniels Saloon, and all of that. And, you know, John was like, look, man, it's time to do this Jazz Up Dallas. So here we are introducing Jazz Up Dallas at Gillies. And so in this Friday night, we're not only introducing um, Dallas Jazz Week, but we're introducing ourselves. You know, and so we, we plan on introducing a night, nice evening of jazz. It will feature uh, Quaman Fowler Quartet, whom you happen to be listening to in the background. You know, one of our local great jazz artists. I mean, we have a whole lot of them in this area. And Jazz Up Dallas is all about showcasing them, doing their original music. You know, you probably will not see anytime soon any cover groups up in Jazz Up Dallas. That's not what this is about. The festival's not about it. And, you know, the venue concept is not about that. You know, there's a lot of original music here. We need to support it. We need to buy it. You know, we need to network with it. You know, and that's what we're about with Jazz Up Dallas at Gillies. So Friday night is the kickoff to Dallas Jazz Week. We're having a kickoff party. Some of the people, the organizers from Dallas Jazz Week are going to be there. Uh, you can meet them. Find out about the organizations. I know who I forgot. I forgot Miss Vicky Meek. Meek's over at South Dallas Cultural Center. Yeah, they do jazz. As a matter of fact, she's coming. She'll, you'll be able to meet her uh, at Jazz Up Dallas Friday night. So Friday and Saturday night, we'll be at Gillies. And then um, there are other organizations doing things subsequently April the 1st through the 11th. You can get all that information at, at uh, UptownJazzDallas.com. And... For all of you that are across Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, again, we love you, man. You know, but I'm telling you, join UptownJazzDallas.com directly because that's where all this is going to focus now. You know, we can play the music there. We can network with the artists there. You can ne network with the artists there. Uh, the venues are there. We're doing great promotions now, you know, to help you um, connect with everything that's going on in North Texas. You know, just last week we were able to do a, a, a great member promotion with the AT&T Performing Arts Center as they joined the, the social network and we were able to, you know, help them introduce, you know, and at Strauss Art Square. It's a venue of interest to the festival, an outdoor venue, and they had a great concert. And a lot of people said they were able to take advantage of that, you know, discount offer and, and enjoy the evening with us. And so, you know, these are the type of things that are going on. You're not going to find out about this stuff directly on Facebook, okay? We're going to try to get the information out over there, but we're moving a lot faster and sharing a lot more directly on UptownJazzDallas.com. So just so you know, that's the social network for you to experience everything that we're about with music, food, fashion, film, and the arts, okay? Um, I want to give some shout-outs to some of the media partners that's helping us get the word out about uh, Dallas Jazz Week and our Jazz Up Dallas at Gillies debut. Uh, PegasusNews.com, you know, they, they were the one that broke the story originally on us doing the festival, and they've been, you know, monitoring us ever since. <laughs> and then there's uh, Dallas Weekly, and uh, just recently, um, uh, KERA's Art and Seek. Uh, came on board and they're actually giving away a couple of tickets so you know you can go to artandseek.org uh, and uh, they are following the culture of, of the arts in our area so you definitely want to connect to them they'll have a page on the social network soon as well so and then there's a uh, concierge connections 
Inc., which uh, you may have never heard of them, but they're in 60 towers, high rises all throughout the area, you know, so they're helping us share information with people in the buildings where people were working and so people can find out about what's going on. So what are we doing? Well, we're building a community. You know, it's all about community. It's not about who's popular, you know, what popular jazz artists are we bringing. I mean, we'll ultimately be doing that. But really what you see us doing is building community, you know. The people that love the arts, love jazz. It's a very mature audience, you know. Um, but we want to bring our kids along as well. We want to teach them about the art form, you know. It's, you know, our, our kids are slipping away, you know. They're... they're following things that are not very enlightening, to say the least, okay? Jazz is one of the few art forms where if you study it and play it, you can be an accomplished musician and go places, the, even in the business parts of it, and even in fashion and film and, and food and the arts in general. I mean, if we push our kids in that direction, good things will happen. You know, if we expose them to talented people, you know, they'll be inspired and they'll latch on to the stuff. That's what happened to me, you know? So, that's it for this particular audio cast, Founders Audio Cast. Hopefully, we'll see a portion, a fraction of this 14,000 <laughs> uh, followers in this social media platform support us Friday and Saturday night at Gillies and throughout this Dallas Jazz Week as the finest venues in the area come together to celebrate and honor an American art form and we believe this is you know something that you know should be highlighted here in Dallas and supported here in Dallas and we don't need a radio station for that you know all we need is each other okay so with that said I'm gonna close this out if you happen to see me please say hello you know if you don't know what I look like go to my Facebook page or something <laughs> all right so um, enjoy the jazz week and uh, if you have any questions, you can call me at 214-702-4286, which is the Jazz Up DFW line, and corporate at uptownjazzdallas.com. That's corporate at uptownjazzdallas.com if you have any questions. So until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>